Where the fuck am I? Hello? Oh. What? Huh? Wait. This is not right. <laughs> this is not right. Okay. Well, why why am I over here? What's going on? Everything's kind of fucky today. Hello chat. Um So, today we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, as I posted, if you post a spoiler in chat, I will just ban you. <laughs> no questions asked. Just an insta ban. Uh, doesn't matter how long you've been around. Doesn't matter how many super chats you've donated. If you can't read the rules. You'll be banned. Uh, maybe I should write like a like a thing on the screen too. Spoilers equals ban. Uh, so please don't post spoilers. <laughs> please don't spo post spoilers. Not a timeout. Or no, you're just gonna be banned forever. Goodbye. Um, I'm just, I just, there's apparently just too many spoilers for this game and I want everyone to be able to have a good time with it, not just me. Uh, cause I know some people here are experiencing this for the first time and I know I already have like a couple spoilers and stuff, um, that I've, I've seen just, yeah, just don't, don't post spoilers. You can like, if you like, you can say things like. If you really genuinely don't know, you might be like, you know, there's like two choices. You can like say, try this choice or that choice or whatever. Like, that's fine. <clears throat> that's okay. Or you could say like, I like Monica. Monica is my favorite. That's fine. That's not a spoiler. Um, I don't consider that a spoiler. But, uh, I'm just going to say it outright. Like if you, and obviously like if you're like, accidentally posting spoilers like that's fine like you know i understand like people make mistakes but if you're like actually out here like trying to uh spoil the game don't don't do it don't do it that's what i'm gonna say right now don't do it too scared to speak no 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 it's fine if you like if you don't it's pretty obvious i think when somebody like doesn't actually know the game versus somebody Who's just out here trying to ruin it for everybody. I think I think it's a little bit different. If you don't know the game and you've never played it. And you're like just theorizing and stuff and whatever. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, I know that's a little bit of a fine line. But I think I can kind of tell. So um, just just no plot spoil. I think again it's different if you're like. Oh I wonder what's going to happen. Will this happen? You know whatever it is. Like that's okay. Uh, but if you are like actively trying to ruin the experience for other people, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, like things like here it comes, get ready. Yeah, that's a really good one. Um, don't say those things, you know. Um, I have never played this. I have never watched anyone play it. I've seen someone play like a minute of it. Are you planning on finishing the whole game in one sitting? I looked up that the route is like four hours and a half. Uh, I So if that's the case, I will play through that. But if that is not the case, we'll see. Um, also, feel free to react to what's happening. That's fine. Like, yeah, don't say oh no before something happens, but you can say oh no after something happens. That's fine. You can react to stuff. I'm not saying don't chat. I want you guys to chat, obviously. Um, you did confirm the genre of the game. Yeah, I'm aware that it is like a horror game. I'm not good with horror. Um, but I was able to play Internet Overdose okay, and I heard it's pretty similar or along the same veins. So, um, yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> hopefully I'll be okay. But at the very least, it is broad daylight. So, yeah. 
if you could handle hot to full so the thing is i played hot to full when it like first came out and uh that was too scary for me but i think my tolerance has gone up slightly since then so i think it'll be a little better wait coconut have you played this game <clears throat> are you gonna play the entire in the game in entirety again i'm probably gonna try to play one route till the end and i've heard that that's about four and a half hours so i'm gonna try that whether or not we will make it to the end we're definitely not gonna 100 percent it. i think i think 100 percenting is a little bit difficult i heard it's it's really long bird dating some is scary yeah so so in hotoful it has the facade of it being a silly game. And then you get to the real ending after you play all the roots. And then that has the actual game in it. <clears throat> Bearby, thank you so much for renewing your membership. Really appreciate it. Some hearts in chat. Um, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, so um. We're going to play Doki Doki Literature Club. I need to set up the sounds. So I do need to double check that the sound is working. So let's check. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing the game. Yeah. So uh, I, I have both of those things, but it's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine, right? What, what could possibly go wrong? What, what could possibly go wrong? Highly disturbing. Yeah, sure. Oh. oh, you guys can't hear that. Okay, give me a second. We're already having audio problems. We're we are starting out strong with audio problems. Famous last words. Uh, game. Okay, you should hear that now. Is that is that okay? Is that loud? Is that soft? <clears throat> okay, sounds good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at the lovely background music. Um, I think I've heard this song before. This is the this is the song that that one of them sings, right? What a cute game! I've played a lot of visual novels in my life, <clears throat> a lot of visual novels in my life, and um, I've played a lot of from really good ones to really bad ones to ones that were uh, uh, just like really janky done overnight and um yeah and i think this one's another one that was like kind of done like indie-ish right um we're gonna go new game oh yeah it was one guy yeah <clears throat> this is the og one i didn't buy plus so i did look up the differences and people kind of have suggested playing the original one first uh, because the experience is kind of different and there's like lore in this, the plus one. So I'm going to just play the original one and then maybe, you know, if we end up deep diving here, we will eventually play the plus one and see the differences. We'll see. We'll see how into it I get. But um... yeah, so there's a Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, which is like I guess like the remaster-ish version and that one has more lore and stuff like that. Okay, wait, should I like voice this? Wait, who is this? Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. <clears throat> this was built on Renpai? Really? That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. 
We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <clears throat> However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again! But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Leora. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. <clears throat> As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Leora, have you decided on a club to join yet? It's like, okay, it kind of bothers me. Because her, like, uh, vest has, like, it has, like, the crosses, and one, they kind of look like fish scales, and then two, it would mean that it's, like, all puffy and stuff, like a puffer jacket, and, like, it just would be lumpy and kind of, like, not, not that, not that, not that nice to look at. Kind of gives me trypophobia. <laughs> <coughs> a club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry he likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content on just getting by on average, on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try this? Will you at least promise? Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to do want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. <coughs> I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Back. <laughs> Sayuri is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be, guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? 
Cupcakes, hell yeah! Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayuri across the school and upstairs, a section of school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayuri, full of energy, swings the open the classroom door. Everyone! The new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glass, uh, glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayuri always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ugh, I can't do this. is too many voices. Ah, oh, Liara. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club. I'm gonna forget all their voices immediately. <laughs> it's full of incredibly cute girls! <gasps> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Oh, she's the one who made the cupcakes! Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayuri. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayuri says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already- ugh. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right! Oh god, their voices are really similar. What? How do I do Monica's? That's that- mm, mm, mm. Uh... <laughs> that's- that's right! That's right! That's right! <laughs> it's great to see you again, Liara. Monica smiles sweetly. Oh, she's so cute! We do, know each other, we do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Leora. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori, uh, Sayori mentioned, I'm gonna do that a lot. <laughs> it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayuri grabs the first one, then Monica, I follow. <clears throat> it's delicious! Sayuri talks with her mouth full and already and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my finger, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but to notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What? Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? What the fuck? There's like a moth! Ah! <laughs> okay, wait, it's gone. <clears throat> I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe... But not for y you, you know, you, dummy. All right, all right. 
I gave up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. <clears throat> you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? <laughs> that acting really thought there was a moth in the room. There is a moth <laughs> in my room. <laughs> Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Too lazy to name, thank you so much for one month of membership. Yuri. <laughs> thank you, thank you. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Oh god, Monica's voice. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Wait. Oh, what? Tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the... Uh, Monica's voice! So, what made you consider the literature club? So, 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 hmm? So, what made you consider the literature club? Is that too close to Sayori? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so. That's okay, don't be embarrassed. <clears throat> we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and the publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. <clears throat> so, Liara, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces a rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. This is like, she's like Kokone. She's like Kokone. And telling a good story in a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way of her eyes, uh, by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yuri Kago, it actually fits! Holy shit! 
Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Muskie's eyes dart over to me for a split second. <clears throat> Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayuri sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. Oh, it's very difficult <laughs> to do all the voices. <laughs> I'm not a voice actor. <laughs> I'm not cute. Uh, Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! <laughs> Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Ugh. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... <sighs> yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Leora? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Sayuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I, I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Ha! <laughs> Leora! Y you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey You really did scare me for a moment. <clears throat> if you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club! Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. This is how you should have started the Gumpla Club with cupcakes? Oh my god. What if I made Zaku cupcakes? <gasps> Zaku cupcakes would be so fucking cute! Or Haro cupcakes? That's why nobody joined my club. It's because I didn't have cupcakes. 
ever remember today's assignment? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looked over at me once more. Lyra, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Liora, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayuri and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayuri, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, why not all of them? Why only one? I just need to, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Harum, harum. Oh. What a... Pick words? Um... Monica's not even here. How come it's only the three of them? Let's see, write my poem. Oh god, homework. Homework. Um, I'm gonna do with... <laughs> cheeks? Like, like ass cheeks? Or like face cheeks? <laughs> like the cake? <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're gonna do, let's do, wait, wait, let's do something good, right? Amazing. Amazing. Together. I'm just gonna pick words that I like, you know. Dream. Cause, cause of Kokone. Um. Precious. Starscape. That's a cool word. Heaven sent. Uh, vivacious. Anime. We've gotta pick anime. Entropy. <laughs> uh, adventure. I want. I just want to pick the good words. Do we want to? Do we want to pick? Do I have to pick bad words? Disoriented. That's kind of a cool word. Uncanny. This is, this is like the real poem. The beginning starts sweet and happy, and then as it goes on, it just gets darker and darker. And then we laugh at the darkness. Uh, destiny. Darkness. Memories. Sparkle. Doki Doki. Um, suicide. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Just really went went straight down. Did a Doki a Doki Doki suicide. <laughs> uh, sure. Why not? Vertigo. I get that all the time. Let's see what that what that what that happens with that. Hi, Ian Leora. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. <coughs> well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Lyra. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sayuri told me you don't even you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you sure ha you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! 
swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Liara always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work uh, without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Leora can become good friends too. Uh, um... Sayori. Hmm? Ugh. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know. W uh, wait, Sayori. Eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you! I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but to notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man. It looks like no one wanted, wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. Read the book! You just got a book! How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? You, you just got a book! Read the fucking book! <laughs> or pretend to read it, you doofus! Oh, here we go. I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. Oh my god. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayuri's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Master, thank you for the super chat. Plot twist, the MC can't read. Plot twist, the MC is a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayuri is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What, what kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right! Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcake, ugh, cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> cupcakes it is then. I'm 
hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayuri is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayuri can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Wah! I open my eyes to find Sayuri's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait! Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our, uh, does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. No. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayuri. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh! Not, not every day. It's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? Let me, let me. Uh, I need a chapstick and a drink of water. Does all this voice acting. <laughs> I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayuri, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayuri glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayuri's hair trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. Uh, short hair. It's true. Short hair is actually, you would think that it's easier. It's easier to wash, but like to generally take care of. To wake up in the morning and leave, get out of bed, long hair is much easier. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. Any faves so far? Um, I like Monica. I know I already got spoiled about Monica a bit, but I like her because she, I like her design the most. And I like her like cheery personality. I'm not really into like the Osana Najimi characters, like the, the childhood friend characters. And then I'm also not really into Sundares and I'm not really into the Kudares, so. I think probably Monica. Monica's not an option. Okay, I, I guess she's like the secret option. Uh, but probably then Yuri or Sayuri. But most of the time when I play like visual novels, like dating sims, uh, the first playthrough, I just answer what I would answer honestly, and then kind of go from there and see what the game gives me. I don't, I don't try to like aim for a person, even if I like somebody specifically. The first playthrough, I always just do blind. Mm -mm -mm. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't wanna embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Say Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Especially coming from someone who doesn't have a girlfriend. Like, what the fuck? Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? D don't say that. 
You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh... I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Huh? What, if, what the heck is he doing to your button? Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it! <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed it sooner. You would have noticed sooner that it didn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again! Oh god. Th don't say that out loud! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, you look much better now, so. Ah. Why does it feel strange to see Sayuri's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayuri hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. Sayuri puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because... <clears throat> if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would, anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Oh, that's lewd. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh. Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Liara, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayuri's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I did the same myself. No, I have to choose? Um, I will choose... I think I'll probably show... I'll show Monica, because I can't get on a route anyway. Maybe it'll put me in the middle, you know? Plus, I like Monica the most. I should start with Monica. Yesterday, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, Liara. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until more settled and more settled in. Anyway, wanna share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Liora. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayuri would like. Is that so? 
You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had these sort of things in common. Uh, well... We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm... Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm... You sure you're not reading into it too much? Haha, <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sha ugh, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy could enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be too afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you to have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a hole. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can uh, be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh... Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a lot. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh, I have to, okay, we'll go, we'll go in the order. Hmm. 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 Yuri stares at the poem. Poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. So sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not... I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. 
I couldn't help but notice that she's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a bit biased though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, this isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is really pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Yura. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Kokone writes in script. I've seen it. She's Yuri! Yuri Kago Kokone! <laughs> Lingering in her last remaining piece of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought about that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Hmm. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Leora! Eh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Ha <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. 
Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Leora poem. And that makes me... Bleh, that makes it feel extra special. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> oh my god! VNU Doki Doki Literature Club mod! That would be insane. I'm really happy that just... Uh, I'm really happy just that you... I'm really happy just that you wrote one. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the classroom. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Liora. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things for the- uh, Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only a really good people do. Thanks, Sayuri. I'm not sure if Sayuri sees the full picture of my motive here. And then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I'm joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I, want, I want breakfast. Sayuri. Oh, do we have our first spoiler? Wow. There we go. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye! Be gone! Did you wait until morning to this morning to write this? No! J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. <laughs> Do you want breakfast or she? <laughs> Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, but, but next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Okay. <coughs> I don't want to do Natsuki because her voice is also really hard. Saving her for last. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotion. So basically it's not cute enough for your taste? Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Oh. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it! True. <laughs> people can try, but that's about it. Yeah. Mm. True. 
Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro! I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They, are gingerly ex they gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, uh, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you just completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Leora did too. So based on that, I'll glad to give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Lyra liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Okay, they're both kind of like shitty. <laughs> like actually, they're both kind of shitty. I don't. I don't like either of them. What the fuck? This interaction kind of sucks. Natsuki suddenly stands up. The poems of the people. No, the people. Like this exchange. This exchange that they're having is. They're, they're like, yeah, Natsuki's mean, and then Yuri's, like, passive-aggressive as fuck. Like, what the heck? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, that's not what I, uh, you're, you're just, Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Leora appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Leora started showing up. <laughs> what the fuck? Musky. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys! 
Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Lyra! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poem all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Leora. W wait There's a reason I have so many deep and expressive words in our language. Oh, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effective. What? It is the only way to convey complex feelings and meanings. Meaning? The mo oh, and meaning the most effective way. Okay. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary lim limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Leora? Uh... Well? Uh... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with will probably think more highly of me. Oh, I don't... I don't... Help me, Sayori. N Natsuki! Natsuki glares at me, dry, drying up any words I have in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri... Mm. But Yuri's expression is also defenseless, that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Liara. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that's making her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Natsuki, Yuri! You guys are my friends! I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Except for me, because I have aphantasia. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Be because Well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. <laughs> Sayori. <laughs> Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression at her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president, I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own way, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her... I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little bit more. Have some more water. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Lyra, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same tomorrow. Uh, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. 
With any luck, that means I can also do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Liara! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori. About what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't, I don't hate them. I just want your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew. You know, Lyra, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayuri still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? What? Huh? We are, are you okay? <laughs> we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Poem. Huh. Well, now I, d I don't want any of them. Maybe Sayori? What, what words would Sayori like? Forgiveness. Fireflies. Uh, heart. Rain cloud. After. Because she does like sad and happy, right? Infant. Heartbeat. Poof. Uh, vitality. Summer? She gives me summer vibes. Sparkle. Green. Oh, I should pick childhood. That's okay. Blanket. Aura. Email. Papa. Uh, flower. Tenacious. Oh, the characters jump when you make, pick a word. Oh, oh! Oh, I'm doing it. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. Another day passes and it's time for club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Lyra! Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing uh, to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No, thanks. Eh! That's, that's not like you at all! I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh, eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just want to look at it. Uh, uh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently for eh, forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that leaves the, leaves the one option. Wah! I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ah, <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggled. Eh, 
I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Ah, ah. I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Yuri to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like this, Sayuri. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after putting a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah, did I just... I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. Ooh. <laughs> I really like it when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You're right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Re retribution. That! Still, coming from you, Sayuri, I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayuri knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. Banana chicken, thank you so much for the super chat. Responsible sending, is that something you eat? Is responsible spending an instrument? But, but! You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayuri. <laughs> oh, did someone slap her? Yeah! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayuri in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was... Eh? A cookie? What the fuck? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayuri glances around. I is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution! Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I, wa I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Maybe we should just punch her in the face with a cookie. Natsuki! That's so nice of you! I'm so happy! Sayuri hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayuri rapidly tears open the wrapper and gives, takes a big bite. So good! Oh. Sayuri suddenly claps, clasps her hand over her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sarah gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and wraps her arms around her. Jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sari off of her. Oh. Sari suddenly leans out and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? Woohoohoohoo! Mouthful, Sari trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sari? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where is Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Eh, <laughs> that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Monica chose a club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But a boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? 
Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Uh -huh -huh -huh. That makes no sense, though. You would have had to heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica! That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, better I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Leora. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose to leave out Sayuri's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayuri somehow already finished her entire cooking. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Liora, Liora! Sayuri suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna go get some supplies from another classroom. Wanna come with? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up? Me and Monica were gonna make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon! Ah, are you going with Leora to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Aw, but I wanted to go! It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff! <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you can find poster paper too, okay? Okay! Ready, Leora? Yep, let's go. Sayuri and I exit the club room. I follow behind as Sayuri hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly, it feels like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Sayuri finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Hey, Sayuri. What exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep! We're gonna do a poetry performance! Slam poetry? Are we doing slam poetry? A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone is gonna take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Uh, that sounds kind of dull. Lyra, you're not thinking about the way it's the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems, it's about performing them. Like you see the lines of the poem like Between my feet The last remaining flower beckons to me I twist the stem freeing it from its clean roots Caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers But to what ends have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction The once prosperous field before me Is but a barren wasteland Like that! Sayuri, how did I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible to take you seriously when you talk like that. Meh! You meanie! I'm working super hard on this, you know. I know, I know. I just mean... I just meant that it's pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. <laughs> don't say that, it's embarrassing! But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I'm so excited! The festival's gonna be so much fun! Sayuri spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey, Lyra, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I spent time with Sayuri like this, but in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, drawing happy vibes from the world around her. 
It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in my room more and more. So going adventuring with Sayori brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. The two of us enter the classroom. Sayori heads straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Sayori pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand too. They're kind of dirty though. Sayori starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Alright, that's one down. Don't get distracted, we still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color! Fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident! Smack. Yeah! Sayori bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. She falls to the floor and the crayons spill all over her lap. Ow, 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 ow! You okay? My forehead! Sayori clutches her forehead. Geez, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. You have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts! Just do it for a second. Sayori suddenly releases her hand from her forehead. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Sorry. There's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Oh no. Man, that's gonna swell up. Good thing you have bangs. I should find you some ice. Leora. Where would I even find ice around this time? Uh, I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. Even wincing from the pain, Sayuri makes a silly joke. Haha. <laughs> What are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I pat Sawyer on the shoulder and run out to the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? It doesn't really matter since it'll be used as an ice pack rather than to drink. But I know Sawyer likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. In just a moment, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. She has one palm on her forehead and it's using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. At least they were already in the wrong spot before I spilled them. Sayori here. I hand her the bottle of apple juice. That... That looks like whiskey. <laughs> that, looks like, that looks like the bottle of whiskey that I have in, uh, in the cabinet right now. Because it's also like half drinking. Looks doesn't look like apple juice. I mean, apple juice looks like piss. Have you have you seen apple juice? <laughs> apple juice looks like piss. And also, why is that bottle so empty? <laughs> it looks like whiskey. It's nice and cold. Sire opens the camp and starts drinking from it. Sire, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot. Ah, sorry, I forgot. Ha 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 How hard did you hit your head? Sorry, it places a bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, Leora. This kind of reminds me of you growing up, doesn't it? Uh, what do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like, I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I would start crying real hard. Ha <laughs> And you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It was almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? Did I really do that? Yeah, you don't remember? Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of like this time, too. Like, if I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Leora. I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years. You're rushing to help me even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. Don't call me that. 
I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when you've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Leora, I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Derek, thank you so much for the super sticker for the thumbs up. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Do you think it'll be like this forever? Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling well where, where we'll end up for college or after that. So it wouldn't be fair for me to make any promises. But, well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? I can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Sayuri has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know? Good luck with that. She's going to see your forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. Sayuri hops to her feet. Ah! She clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. Ooh. Well, I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. I follow Sayuri out of the classroom. Ah, I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm not gonna read all the non-voice parts. It's gonna. It's gonna take me too long. I think. <laughs> I have some water. I'm gonna run out of water, and my throat is gonna die. So I'm only gonna read the voice-acted parts. <laughs> you guys can read the di the the narration yourself. Ah, you're back. Good timing. I was just about ready to start sharing. Start with sharing our poems. Eh, Sayuri, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about. <clears throat> I was playing with the crayons and smacked my forehead into the shelf. Well, anyway, were you able to find everything we needed? Uh huh. I have it right. Eh. Sayuri frantically. Oh, I'm not gonna read it. Your immersion. I forgot all the stuff. Calm down, Sayuri. I have it all right here. I found the poster paper, too. <laughs> Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Liara. Uh, well, Sayuri... I made it an adventure. I made it an adventure. Yeah, that. <laughs> okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too! Okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? Guess I should grab mine. Alright, okay, we're gonna do the same order as last time. Hi again, Leora. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. Alright, it's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayuri like the other one that you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. <laughs> That's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. Um, I'm not shy, it's just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can talk to me every now and then, too. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? Uh, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. But anyway... You want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, it's titled Save Me. That's, that's a little scary. 
Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me? Load? Load? Oh, like save me, like save and load. Ah! Save me, load me. Hmm. It load? <laughs> it's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of thing I've never seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of a poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short make it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be an abstra uh, as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling or a conversation with a reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. <laughs> or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Leora. I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. Uh, I'm not hiding anything. But your poems are so good. Yesterday's and this one too. You can't tell me you haven't done this before. I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, so. Eh? No way. Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki is least likely to admit how much she likes something. But I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Wah, 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 wah. Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I just mean that you're a really expressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Even the little things. Like cooking! Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is that I can feel more feelings through you than I can through myself. We have that kind of weird connection. It's your fault for getting in my business all the time. Eh? I don't know if I understand. Sai. You never understand when I try to explain things to you, do you, Sayori? <laughs> hey! I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Mm, maybe. Hey, Leora. Will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Oh, why? Because, well, it's the first time you've written something for me. <laughs> Sorry, you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. <sighs> Are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we go home. Really? broke my pencil so, so sorry it's fine it's fine I'll get it for you I'm I'm a little clumsy today <laughs> let's sit down sorry yeah yeah anyway I still haven't read your poem 
Sorry, I forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I'll like it. Oh, this one's so long. Why is it so freaking long? <laughs> Bottle. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles, all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends, each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way, down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams, friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, exploring the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry, do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the towel between my feet. Happy th oh god. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floors. They were supposed to be my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. What the fuck? Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Holy crap. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit easier. Writing is like magic. You've got pretty you've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best! I'm gonna keep writing until I die! Oh god. Ahaha, <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. Let's see what you've written for today. Hmm. Well done, Leora. Your skills are, are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that means a lot. Eh? I it's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this, so don't worry much if it seems like you can't get your poem to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise. I see. That's a certainly interesting uh, technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Hers is long too! What the f- Everyone writing fucking essays! The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an un- ordinary human I gave the raccoon a piece of my a piece of bread my subconscious well aware of the consequences well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more the enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom my bread my hungry curiosity the raccoon an urge what the moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife what the fuck 
The same very light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Kind of, kind of, kind of sketchy. Seems like just like a short story, though. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Is she like fattening us up? Are we the raccoons? Is she fattening us up and then she's gonna like murder us? What, what is what's happening? Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. What? What's the hobby though? Murdering people? Feeding raccoons? It's those sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. What's the actual hobby though? So sometimes I enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? But because they're embarrassing and people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Liora? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our indiv- Ah! Ah, yawn. And our individualities. Oh my god, I could not sleep. Last night, freaking Tragle, freaking Tragle was going ape shit. Uh, he like, I don't know why, but this was, it was a bad, it was a bad night's sleep. No run today either. Well, I had the interview earlier this morning, which was a little bit wonky because, um, we had the interview and at the end she was like, by the way, this position's filled already. I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, she was really nice about it. She was like, oh, but we still want to talk to you in case there's like future opportunities. But this particular position's like already filled. I was like, oh. I was like trying like not to be disappointed. But she's like, but yeah, we still want to talk to you because we really like your resume. And like we, we want to like maybe discuss like future positions. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like trying not to be too disappointed. But that that's what it was. Um... Yeah, like I think she liked she liked me. That's why. Um, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Anyway. Anyway, that's why I'm I'm extra tired. Um, probably I'll go nap after stream today. <laughs> Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Oh, Natsuki's voice kills me. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one, but I can't really say it's any better either. Huh? Hear what? Oh, uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment? <laughs> Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's, uh... Something tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. Oh, oops. Whatever. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayuri's poem from yesterday. Eh? You think so? Yeah, well, I guess you've been friends with her for so long you might be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Sorry, has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone or Fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging you. Ugh. It's like she's dragging you around a dead weight. Uh, that was a little unnecessary. 
But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she probably would just fly away like letting go balloon. You could say we take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Everyone's poem is so long! Amy likes spiders. Who the fuck is Amy? You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Oh god. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words, but she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. <gasps> what the fuck? Amy has a lot of other has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anybody. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better without better off without spider lovers. I'm gonna tell anyone. Oh my god. <laughs> not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you did I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies, and it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree to the subject of this poem is Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an arrogant jerk, an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course, it's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter, it can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Huh, that's funny. Yuri wrote about something similar today. Huh? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was about uh, an unusual hobby of hers. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Really? Well, I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Ugh. It's not like I would judge her or anything. I guess I should try not to be so mean to her. If she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it sounds like she's learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if her writing style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm going to write a good one for tomorrow, too, so look forward to it. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can just put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayuri has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Uh, sorry, I thought you heard about it yesterday. We're going to be performing. Performing? P um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayuri's putting uh, it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you didn't already start putting up these posters, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. 
It's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Guys! No, Sayuri. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone up, up until a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But! I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of the club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayuri and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Ooh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over it. Alright! Whew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously gonna be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're gonna practice reciting them in front of each other. No, no, no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Uh, of course. Now let's see. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. It's nice to take a break for a second. Let me drink water too. <laughs> that was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Oh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. poem is called You can do it, Yuri It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye That was really good. Thank you for sharing. Okay. I guess I'm next then. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How 
did you just do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Good job, Sayuri. <laughs> even Leora liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayuri. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them depending on what you're reading. I know what you mean! That's, well... I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm gonna make you pick a poem that challenges you a little bit more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay! Now, 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 who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> oh. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Leora lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your ability and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that will improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. The poem is called... It's called... But why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Uh, well... Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of the other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. I feel this, actually. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday is the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. An impressing Monica. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well... Uh, it's okay, Leora. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already.
Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I, I mean, so let's just say that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> nah. Sayori, you really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez, I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Leora. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Sorry, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point of speculating something that's never gonna happen? Huh. My lips are like so weird today. All right, I'm doing my I'm doing my best here. Oh no, dream is not a good one. Okay. Uh. uh. I'm doing better. Okay, milk wasn't it? Vibrant isn't it? Valentine isn't it? Oh god. Oh, nope. Up, oh, nope. Nope. Peace. <laughs> I got a good amount though. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ha ha ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Huh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayuri all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean, you of all people? Because! It's right in your name! Mon Ika! Eh? That's not how you're saying my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> the fourth wall. Huh? Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event now for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayuri's anyway. Oh. Excuse me. Where is Sayuri anyway? Oh, there you are. Hey, Sayuri. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh. <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything alright? Of course! Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so.
Lyra, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Leora. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she's really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Liara. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sari talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra weight was turned, uh, an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Liora. Have you thought that maybe you've also always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, alright. Oh no, MC's oblivious. Okay, everyone! Why don't we share our poems now? Okay, we go in the same order. Hi, Liara. Have you thought about what you wanted to submit to perform at the festival? Well... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayuri's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing her as much this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot more time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me. About how Sayuri's been a little bit off today? Yeah, did she tell you something? Uh, well... Lyra, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? What? Of course not! I've been treating her like I always do. Alright. Just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad to happen to her, so keep an eye on her. What the fuck? Why would you say that? <laughs> Why would you say that? sayuri has been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Uh, all right. Oh no, another one with crazy, crazy lines. <sighs> the lady who knows everything. An old tale, tales of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. 
all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim to the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall and I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am your legend. What? Your legend does not exist. Is that a star? Or is it just like a... What is, it? What is this dot? And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Okay. You know... I feel like learning and looking for answers are sort of are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put that much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anybody else. Fourth wall! You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that! Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can really be disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thank you for listening. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, Leora. Uh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? Eh, of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Leora. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does, or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah? I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Oh god, the music stops. It's kind of scaring me. Oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> Wait! Of course I do. That doesn't mean I need to try hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you, but we have a wavelength or something, and this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life, so sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sayori? No, no. Liara. I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? What? What'd I do? If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. What? Sayuri. Huh. Sayuri. I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. It's nothing, Leora. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry. 
Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. What? Well, I don't get it. What? What? what I... Huh? Maybe I am the dense harm protagonist. What's going on? I don't get it. She's... Is it because... Is it because she likes me? I don't get it. <laughs> what? Is she, is she upset that she likes me? Oh, I don't understand. Girls are hard. <laughs> well done, Lyra. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we're, we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Leora? Huh? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome? How unlikable of me. Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sort of conclusions. I'm just a little used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Everyone's poems are so long! Can we go back to like short form poetry, please? Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently look at your foundations until you give in, or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankle, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic, the breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Oh, tendrils again! She likes to write about tendrils. Turn back and I abandon my peace to erode at the shore. Drift forward and I return to Earth forevermore. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes? Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Uh, 
Uh, every time Natsuki's turn comes around, I'm like, oh, the voiceover is pain. This one's all right. All right? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. And uh, yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's not just, it's just, bleh, it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No, no, gross. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure that you're not slacking off. Really? Well, if you ended up just... What, what if you just ended up scaring me away? That's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Gah. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> Baden Lily, thank you so much for the super chat. I'll be your beach is my favorite poem in the game. But if you actually did Natsuki route, you don't get the poem at all. Really? Interesting. Is it gonna be the poem that we see now? Anyway. Oh yeah, here it is. Give me a second. Oh boy, I had to sneeze. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought you had left you long ago. But if you let me be by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn how to love yourself again. This one feels, um... Almost like a song. Like song lyrics. Give me a second. I felt like this could be a song. Yeah, this one feels like a song. It even has like a chorus. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write about something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome! Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Jeez, she better not have said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh. You can really see her doing that, too. Wait, but she said, but Yuri said that she was the one. Huh? Making us write about a simple topic and then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second! Is it just me or did you say something strange right now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Ca catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayuri isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Ah, <sighs> Sayuri always helps lighten the mood a bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. 
Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What does she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival pre preparations, so... Let's decide on what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh, um... Guys, can you guys help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No, no! That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. No, no Nazi is pouting too? Jeez, I can, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayuri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah... Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri... You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that... I... I love atmosphere. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Leora. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really appreciate I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, uh, that's is Monica suggesting oh. Uh I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own? Lyra may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Leora too. What, what are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Leora to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said! I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Lyra, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Master, thank you so much for the super chat. Look at Miss Popular over here. I'm like, there's... <sighs> Too much voice acting. My brain hurts. Chugging water. Ah, of course. Very well. In that case... Um, I want to pick Monica, but I know that I can't. It's not going to matter. So I feel like I should pick Sayori because I think I'm already mostly on her route anyway. And at this point, I think they're both kind of not nice people. <laughs> I can pick her, but but it, it won't really matter, right? I don't want to like... Well... It's fine. We'll pick Sayori. I feel bad for her anyway. She's like, she's like, no. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. 
I mean, we're already neighbors and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayuri was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No, no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Oh, just think of the club, okay? All right, fine. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me. Hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. Monica, you're the one who le needs the least help out of all of us. <sighs> but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayuri as well. But Lyra was the one who... Uh, that doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. Oh, God. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior, ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? What, what are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah! We have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh... So are you gonna do the right thing, president? Okay, okay. I get it. Ah. <sighs> It's technically most logical for Lyra to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Oh my god! How many times are you gonna... How many times are you gonna ask? We just... Just... Ah! <laughs> Can't you see I don't want to work with either of them? Can't you see I, I just... I, neither. Where is the neither option? I'm gonna pick Yuri because it's easier on my voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki. I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no I was just saying... Ugh. So you'll be helping out Yuri then, Leora? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. So, is that everything we need to uh, we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Leora? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh... I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Lyra picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that. So, so... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Wh why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to train me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm gonna say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are gonna be the blah, blah. You better bet that my cupcakes are gonna be the best part of the whole event. I believe you. Yeah. 
I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Um, eh. Sorry. I realized that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. All right, then. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? Why my house? My house? I is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Leora. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but... Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... I believe you. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. The, 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 the girl come to my house. I have to hide all my... I have to hide all my... Pu plushies. <laughs> gotta, gotta stash away all of my... Pu uh, lushies. God, you know my interview today so I wish I could show you guys but like I I hung up my um Daki Makura uh, my internet overdose uh Daki Makura it's like on the wall behind my desk uh and <laughs> in my interview <laughs> I had to like I, I sent it to PokePal because I was like what the fuck do I do I look this is really bad and she was like oh you should use the you're not gonna blur it out? I was like, oh shit, <gasps> I could blur it out. So I blurred it out. I forgot I could blur out my background. So I did that for the interview to make me feel a little bit more normal. Um, <laughs> I also hung my um, my summer uh, tapestry above my TV in my room too. And at a certain angle of the camera, you can see it. But then I had to like, I, I shifted the angle of the camera so you can't really see the the Leora tapestry. <laughs> uh, good times! Did you do the interview with your VTuber model? Maybe I should have. <laughs> that would have been fucking funny. How did the interview go? I mentioned it earlier, but um, uh, apparently they had already filled the position. They already filled the position, so they were just talking to me for like potential future positions. But yeah, I mean, I appreciate that she still like talked to me, I guess, but. 
uh, yeah, they had they had already filled that position basically. So, yeah, but it's okay. They're gonna keep my resume on file. But it like kind of sucks because I think I have like three different places where they've told me that they have my resume on file, but they haven't done anything. <laughs> <coughs> I decided to visit Sairi. I believe in you, Lyra. Let's go. Aw, thank you. We'll do my best. Okay. The house is quiet. Oh, and I'm scared. <laughs> She's in casual clothes. Hi, Lyra. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Monica told, Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? La la. Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Uh, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep! I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well, so... That's no good, Leora. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake. Then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. What is she talking about? It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayuri. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you really put me in a trap, Leora. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayuri? <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Lyura? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. 
That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Leora. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have had to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Ahaha. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ahahaha. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Leora. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. <gasps> We're hugging! Leora. Sayori. <laughs> I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Leora. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Leora. I... If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, I can fix her! Then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Leora. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Oh, that's a mood. <laughs> that's a real ass mood. <laughs> but your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um. Uh... It's what I want, I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Of all days, this had to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. This is like making me emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, I need like... I need a moment to process. Uh... I mean, I've mentioned it before. But I've, I'm like all. <laughs> I'm also, um, you know, clinically depressed, I suppose, is what they say. Uh, so it's kind of weird to see that in like third person. Oh man, I'm like tearing up. Give me a second. Ah, <laughs> trying to
Ah. <clears throat> yeah, it's like weird to see this in third person, like on the other side, because yeah, like I've had to explain depression to friends who like don't don't know what that is. And it's like usually very similar. Like they they just don't understand, right? Because it's like there's no way for them to because they've never experienced it. And like people get depressed, sure, but like being depressed and having a moment of depression versus like like being like clinically depressed is like a very different thing, right? Master, thank you for the super chat. Reminder: It's okay to take breaks. Yeah, it's just like. It's very real. They wrote this very realistically, I guess. Mm. Um, so um, it's kind of interesting, and it's really nice to see the main character kind of admit that. I mean, it's not very realistic in that sense because I think I think a lot of people when you like say like I'm depressed, they're like, oh no, I totally get it. But it's like, no, no, you don't. <laughs> what you feel when you feel depressed is very different than what I feel when I'm depressed, like the, the the baseline is like completely different. And so obviously it's not very realistic, but it is it is true that he does not understand. Um, usually you have to kind of explain to them like, no, 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 I'm sorry, you don't understand. I'm not trying to be mean, like, but you actually don't understand. <laughs> I'm not like trying to dismiss your feelings, but like you actually do not understand. There's no way for you to understand. <laughs> Vaden Lee, thank you so much for the super chat. I also have the same diagnosis. A lot of things Sairi says are the same lies our brains tell us, aren't they? But we do have value, Leo. I do, Sairi does, and you do. Aw, thank you. I'm gonna cry again! <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I think, like, sometimes you explain to people, and they're like, why can't you just, like, do things that make you happy? Like, like... For example, they might be like, oh, you like playing games, right? Like, why can't you just play games? Like, doesn't that make you happy? I'm like, no. <laughs> How do I explain that it does not make me happy? Or like, it like, it like does make me happy, but like in a, in a like, <laughs> not in a way that like, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's like your baseline, it like, mm, it doesn't increase your baseline forever. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's a weird, depression is fucking weird. <laughs> okay, let's, I'm good to go. We can continue. I don't want to, like, make it too depressed. But it's, it's, it's nice that they, like, kind of, uh, talk about those topics in a way that's not cliche, I guess. Like, it, it feels very realistic. Hmm. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. If she if she unalives herself, if she if she unalives herself before tomorrow, I swear to god. <laughs> Yuri? Uh Oh, her outfit's so cute. Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I start to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried my uh, more on my way home. I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. It's so clean. Ha ha ha. I cleaned it just before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. 
Why would she? Why would she try to open my desk drawers? What the? F my plushies are in there. <laughs> my plushies are in there. Don't, don't open the desk drawers. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. It's fine. So, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity and for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. <laughs> Lyra's room sniff sniff. Honestly, i it's a problem. So I my my bedroom right now kinda smells bad because because the cat litter I use like a specific type of cat litter that doesn't smell. And I also have like an automatic um, litter robot. But like, I don't know why recently it's been kind of smelling bad. And I'm like kind of trying to figure out a way to make it smell less bad. You're not supposed to use candles if you have cats. Like it's like not good for the cats. So I don't use candles or anything. Um, but I vinegar clean the box. So it, the thing is, it's like a litter robot. So I need to figure out how to clean it, because I think I do need to clean the robot, but it's not as like easy as cleaning a litter box, you know? So I'm gonna disinfect everything with bleach. See, I also don't want to use bleach because that's also toxic to cats. It's like it's a it's a whole thing. Also, I don't want to use vinegar, like, because I don't want my cats to not want to use the box, etc. I have an automatic and it's pain to get fully cleaned. Yeah, that's kind of the issue I have. But I'll, I'll figure out a way. I just haven't had the time to do it yet, so I need to do that. Anyway, it's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's just something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. I bought this one, um, oil diffuser one time. And... I had this one scent in it and I really liked it, but I also heard that's like not good for cats. So I haven't used any sort of aromatherapy oils since, um, which is unfortunate because I do like those, but I'm also personally really sensitive to smells. So I don't really like using a lot of like really smelly, smelly stuff in general. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and help you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing our poems? 
It does sound suitable. Well, you seem to know a lot about this, so I'd trust your opinion with anything. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm gonna cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some people to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> Here's a marker, Leora. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, uh, all right. Was what was this game originally in Japanese? I thought this was originally an English game, but oh, it is an English game. Okay, they're just choosing to say things like writing characters. It was made by a guy in New Jersey, <laughs> and because it, it was just weird that they said writing characters as opposed to like writing words but made by waves okay okay wakari mashita the knife is strangely beautiful oh no be careful leora you might be a raccoon that's no ordinary pocket knife it looks really fancy ah uh, well what is it you're gonna think it's weird. You're whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? Ugh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Ha 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 ha. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I guess it kind of suits you. What? Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. Ha ha ha. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Would you like to hold it? No? Sure, I'll check it out. Where do you even get a knife like this? Ow! Liara! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper! <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> I, I, I feel uneasy all of a sudden. I don't want this woman in my house. <laughs> I don't want her in my house. Ah. Uh. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Oh my god! I'm not in her house! She's in my house! Bro, I have a girlfriend! <laughs> kind of. I have kind of a girlfriend. You can't do that. It... What? Abort! Abort! <laughs> Abort! How do I leave? How do I leave my own house? <laughs> I, I, how do I leave? What the fuck? 
tidak boleh Please forgive me, no! <laughs> how do I... How do I leave? The MC is normal at least? Yeah, what the fuck? I wasn't thinking. Sure, you really were not. I... Can you... Yuri... That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh... Right? <laughs> you're, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh. Alright, you know what? Ah! Why would you... Why would you do that? Why would you do... Why would you do that? Huh? This, this is... Leora! And not me! I wouldn't do that! I wouldn't do that. Never mind, MC's not normal. What the fuck? I <sighs> Leora! D did you really just do that? N now we're even. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. Then why did you do it, you moron? You're so weird, Leora. <laughs> Where do you keep your bandages? I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. Uh, can she leave my house now? <laughs> it looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Yuri goes on Pinterest confirmed. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. We'll need about six cups of water to put, uh, to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. But the... But the poor plushies. We can't leave her alone in the room with the plushies. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. Okay. Yuri? Yes? <clears throat> Your face is a little red. Wait, why? Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah. Uh. No, not at all. There is nothing wrong, so... She saw the plushies! Wait, what? You know what she was doing? Wait, what? Huh? What was she doing? Wait. 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 Huh? Wait. Are you guys implying that that she was my house? Is it because she saw the plushies? <laughs> did she did she see my plushies? Is that why? Oh my god. I knew I should have hid those plushies better. 
<sighs> the blushies made her too emotional. Let's mix the paint. Wait, is there... Is there... Is there sex in this game? I thought this was like a... I mean, I know it's like a romance game, but it's like... I thought it was... No? Okay. So it's not one of those games. Okay. No, nothing sexual. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to double check because... Sometimes you play these games and then you end up playing an Edoge and you're like, uh, okay, I did not expect it to be an Edoge, but I guess it's an Edoge now. Mm. <clears throat> uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes it happens. You just, you just oopsie boopsie on like a Edoge. <laughs> I don't know. You guys are implying that she's doing stuff, okay? Is it that wrong for me to assume that potentially there's stuff in here? So, I thought we could- we would do something simple that would look very nice. I assumed the wrong thing? What you guys told- that's what you guys were saying! What else would she be doing? What were you implying? You will see? Okay, I, I guess I'll see. I wasn't- I did not in, in- I did not take that from the text. I implied that from what you guys were saying, okay? I'd like to paint a gradient uh, across the banner. Starting with the colors from a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. What, what is the- what is- what is the Uma Musume quote? Uh, eclipse first, the rest nowhere. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium in, in the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you gonna write? Well... It'll be more fun to surprise you. If you say so. Kind of reminds me of elementary school. <clears throat> ah, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know. Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person, even if it's something simple like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? I think I feel the same way. I knew you'd understand. So sorry. Are you hurt? No, I, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's it. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Uh, your face. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. <clears throat> Here. Whoa. Why is she, why is she holding my arm like that? Ah. Uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Oh. Wait. Uh just for a little longer. Uh, feels really nice. Maybe I should just give you the towel, lady. What is happening indeed? Oh 
Oh my god, what's happening? Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. <clears throat> that should do it. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here and have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Whew. <laughs> you see that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. So you don't have any time left? Well? I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to, uh, of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Note to self, buy jasmine oil, but then you gotta get a girl in your house. <laughs> When Siri packs, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Oh, I forgot you don't like going out much. <coughs> Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Yura. Huh. Why is it scary? I kind of like that about you. Well? Huh! Ah! Sayuri? Oh, no. Ah! Uh, hi, Leora! Just now we weren't... <laughs> It's okay, Leora. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll be all together at the festival tomorrow, so that's fine, right? Of course. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well... I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Lyra? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, Leora. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... What? Monica? Monica was right about what? Sorry. Wait, what the fuck did Monica say to you? <laughs> what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden that your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... 
I'm scared, Leora. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Leora. Oh. She said Leora. Leora! <laughs> I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And... And... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. A, a kiss? I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you truly are the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens, as long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Leora. <laughs> I'm the I'm the I'm the faceless H protag. Leora, is this really okay? Yeah. You'll never have to let me go again. I love you, Leora. I want to be with you forever. Me too. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Leora. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Oh, okay. I trust you. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Leora. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? What, what do you mean? What is the best thing? Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. Do you? That's my promise. <laughs> what, do you, what do you know? You're not answering her phone. Oh no, is she dead? Is she unalived? Leora, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Why is there no music? I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days like this important she'd try a little harder? <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Leora. I mean, especially after you exchange after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But... Is she a spy? Jeez. 
You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Well... Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Why is there no music? I feel nervous. Give me the music. Yeah, I thought so too. What's this? Oh. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh Lyra? What's wrong? Uh nothing. I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so Ah. Uh, well alright. Try not to take too long, okay? Don't strain yourself. Sayori? Oh, no, I'm scared. Sorry, wake up, dummy. Ah! Oh, my God! What the fuck? Ah! What? You left Sayori hanging? What the fuck? Be honest, you knew this was coming? No, I did not. I had a feeling that she could unalive herself, but... I was not expecting that. It's weird because actually I've seen this image before, but I did not realize it was from Doki Doki Literature Club. I thought it was from something else. I didn't... I saw that image. I've seen the image before, but I did not connect the dots. I... I... Uh... I didn't even have the option to go to her house. I would have gone to her house in the morning. I shouldn't have confessed to her? Oh no. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different.
Okay. Uh, first ending. What the fuck is this? Is this supposed to happen? Is this normal or is this like an error? Check. Okay, everyone's saying to check something. Try loading it. It's normal. Load game. Okay. Uh, she would have died even if you don't confess. Okay. It's part of the game. Click it. There's more. Okay, wait. Do I click it or do I load the game? Load game. Do I click the glitchy thing or do I load the game? This is part of the game. Play new game. Load. Load game. Either works. Alright. I will... Is this... Oh my god, wait, so do we have to do this with all the girls? Do we have to do this with all the girls until we end up with Monica? There's multiple endings, but how do I even get multiple endings if she's already dead? Her character file is literally gone. Just keep playing, you'll see. Oh my god. to just not look at chat now oh no who is this leora oh oh my god monica oh my goodness i totally didn't expect to see you here It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budgets and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Oh. Literature? How many members do you have so far? Um. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I could see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? 
She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? Hey, Leora. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah. Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um... Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome! You're really sweet, Lyra, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Not cupcakes this time. I sold my soul to Monica. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. Oh! My god, that scared the shit out of me! Eh? A uh, guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Liora. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. <laughs> anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Oh, Yuri's the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Lyra in a classroom and he decides to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Wait, okay. So, um... If I picked any other route, would it be different? So, for example, if I picked the Yuri route... If I picked the Yuri route, would it- would the- would this whole thing be different? No? Oh. I see. Okay, that's good to know. I'm just like- I was, okay. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Why don't you come sit down, Leora? It's kind of linear, actually. Okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. There will be some differences, but okay. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we all can really... We can all really grow this, grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't get yourself intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that, that's not... I, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. So, Leora, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Manga? Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, I could change.
Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship between, behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. You plan on finishing today? I don't think it's possible for me to finish today, right? It's like too long. <clears throat> but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. Yeah, I'm gonna um, play until uh, Coconut streams. When is her stream? Oh, give me a second, let me check. Coconut stream. Seven. We still have like two more hours. Well, actually, I might have to stop before seven, but <laughs> around then. Haha, <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Never mind. That's right, you, like, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Uh... I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well... I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Leora? Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um... But... I'm sorry, I thought... Eh... <laughs> uh... Uh, I guess I need to tell you the truth, Leora. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four, and I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one before the festival... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Leora? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Leora, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? 
Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to our next meeting so we can all share. Lyra, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Oh god. Oh no. Yes? Oh. oh! Oh, I didn't... I thought I had to press it. Oh, no. I didn't I didn't look at it at all. Okay, let's try going for... Um... Yuri's... Yuri's side this time. Yeah. I'm gonna just try to... Go on, on Yuri's... Uh, Yuri's side. You know? This is a lot easier. <coughs> is, this, is judgment spelled with an E? Wait, what? Yuri got weird for a moment? I missed it! I was too busy looking at the, the typo. Oh, it's an accepted spelling? Oh. Oh, I missed it. Oh, God! What? What was that? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, my God. Was that the Easter egg or was Yuri's expression the Easter egg? I missed the Yuri expression. I'm sad. I'm sad. Did um anybody does anybody have a screen capture of it? <laughs> can you can is anybody have a screen capture of it or does anybody uh know know what it what like if you have a PNG of it can you use my can you post it on Twitter and use my live tag I want to see it later. <clears throat> Hi, Leora. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha 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 ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I at least keep my word. Ah! Why was her face like that? Thanks for keeping your promise, Lyra. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Ah! <laughs> why, why do they keep doing that? It's scary. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Ah! Why, why is this, why is she on top of the text? Oh, the background's like all tilted. What? I can't even read it. I couldn't even read it. <coughs> Manga is literature! I'm sorry, Leora. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Um, anyway. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well? I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. What? Wait. I didn't mean it like that. We're slowly zooming in. If I stare at it, it feels like it, but then if I... kind of gives me headaches, so I'm not going to look at the background. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not like that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. 
So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Are we zooming into her? Well, the background is zooming and it's making me dizzy, so I'm trying not to look at the background. I don't know if she's zooming, but if I stare at it too long, it gives me headaches, so I'm trying not to look at it. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Oh, it straightened itself out. Oh. Well, she's reading the book that she gave to me. I found a PNG. Do I just at you on Twitter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use like the Lira Live hashtag. I mean, yeah. If you use a Lira Live hashtag, I can, I'll look at it. Ah, uh, crap. She sneaks another glance at me. Okay. Sorry. I was just spacing out. Oh, it's fine. I was If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, her eyes, like, all fucky! Why is it so far away? <laughs> what? Why her eye was, like, so weird? Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, when I saw this bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about anyway? Well... Mm. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. What the fuck? And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. What the fuck? But the... <laughs> But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and asphyxiating- What? Is she okay? Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. Uh, are, are you now? Very relate- I know, very relatable. Very relatable. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind- that's kind of... <clears throat> what the fuck? Ah, uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Leora? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. It's just that this kind of story... It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil. Oh! But because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. I see. What? <laughs> what? I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. 
Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writings fill my thoughts- Oh! My whole body gets what? I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In, fa in fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh my god! Holy shit. <laughs> ah, I hate jump scares! Yeah, yes! I, I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with somebody. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, alright. So sorry Oh. What? I was just bathing in your what? This is It's not in here. <laughs> in your body heat. Okay, gotcha. You you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean Ha 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 ha. Here, this should work, right? Ah, uh, I suppose so. Uh, I guess this makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, this is a nice CG. Why would they read a book like this, though? <laughs> Are you ready? Pizza Boss, thank you so much for the super chat. Who's your favorite so far? Well, I, I mean, I've done the Sayuri route, so I really like her. I like her so far. Um, I feel like Yuri and Natsuki... Don't come off as, like, nice people, you know? So I'm, like, uh, not, like, hugely a fan of them. But, I don't know, maybe doing their route, we'll see. And obviously, I think the, um... I, I think uh, Monica's really cool. Even though she's scary. Like, like a cool kind of, like a scary kind of cool. So I'm kind of excited to see, like, where that goes to. To turn the page. Uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Ah. Uh. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking of the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Ah. Uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Ha 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 ha. Yuri, are you feeling okay? <laughs> eh? You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My, my breathing? I, 
I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. My Yuri voice is very inconsistent. What on earth was that about? Leora? Did something happen just now? Eh. I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no. No, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, no, nothing! Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does it sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. Monica. Okay. Hi, Lyra. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good! Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the clubs, like new activities or things we could do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Leora. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all get to learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Great job, Leora. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though, but sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with lots of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too simulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Yuri! I'm back. Why is she so big? Was she always this big? She feels like... She's like cutting off the screen. Is she just really tall? Did I miss anything? Oh, it's just because she was talking. I see. Not really. Well, we were... We all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time that you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh, same one. Right? Oh no, it's different. It's a little bit different. Hole in wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. It's slightly different from the first one. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Was that the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure how, if, uh, if I know how to put it. 
I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's a bit is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, okay, this is the same. I'm gonna. If it's like too same, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> There's too much dialogue. Okay. Exceptional. Eh, what was that? Th did I just say that out loud? I. Uh, he's going to hate me. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's. I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> so. What kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicate you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of... Okay, this is like all the same. Yeah. Okay. These are all... Same dialogue as before. Okay. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. Oh, and now it's different from here. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. Oh no, it's the same. Maybe? I, I think these, these two might be different, but everything else is the same. I'm sorry to have such terrible writing, handwriting. Oh, uh, it's all the same. Same stuff, we're skipping. Okay. Do you usually like poetry outside of the game? Um, I, I have like a, I don't, I, like, I, I think, I think poetry is like pretty like, I'm okay with poetry. I don't like, I don't like love poetry, but I don't dislike poetry. Sometimes like I'll read a book of poems. I forget what, there's this one book of poems that I enjoyed. But I think like there are some poems that I like more than like others. Mm. Um, there's a skip button for dialogue you've already seen. Oh! It, will it only skip the one that I've seen? Because sometimes the skip button will just skip everything. <clears throat> Lear, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. Oh, oh it's, it's, it is it is out. Oh, okay. What? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. 
Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. This one's the same. Skip! Nice! I guess that's everyone. Weird how like some of the notes are flat. Very weird. Isn't this didn't we already see this? I can't skip it. Look in the background, the poster. I don't see it. Is it this one? I can't read any of the other ones. It's behind her, right? What is that? Yours is cute. Oh, they're saying dialogue. Oops, cute! Oh no, this is- I already read this. Oh, is that Sairi's bedroom? Oh no, is she hanging there? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Why would they do that? can't skip this is it is it unskippable because she's the Easter egg or something this is not new dialogue this is the same dialogue oh is it because she said Monica liked it and Leora did too is it this part everything else was the same Yeah, this is all the same. Yeah, it's like mostly the same, but... Oh yeah, there she is. Oh lord. Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Okay, this is all this... This is... Oh, um, this is a little bit different. Oh. Oh god, that scared me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. You, oh my god, they're so much meaner now. Oh my god. Edgy bitch. Uh... Music is very distracting. Oh my god. What the fuck is wrong with your head? Y yeah, go on. What the heck? Oh my oh my god. Yuri? Step outside for a little bit. Okay. Okay, Monica. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess. <coughs> it's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ha ha ha. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little bit more assertive sometimes, but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway. If this makes you want to spend less time with others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they've, they're done. Oh, God. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I believe you. Please don't hate me. Please. 
I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over now, so you can go home if you want. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. Seems sus! I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so let me take that responsibility today. It so kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Leora. It would be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate- Oh! Huh? Okay. Okay. Um... Oh, is she like getting further away because I'm picking more stuff for her? Um... Oh no, I don't think it matters. I'm trying to like pay attention to her face now. Uh, scars. Unrestrained determination, broken, dark judgment. It's just random, yeah. Oh, Lordy. Hello, Booby. Hi, Booby. Oh, there she is. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologize. You don't have to worry so much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just all a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Leora, don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Ugh. I can't do the voice acting anymore. It's like too much jump scares. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but to worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... Not you about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. No, not at all. I don't hate you. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. You're still on a trial, though. Hey. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah, well, Natsuki was. I was not. Ha ha ha. What took you so long anyway? My last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track time. Wait, okay, we've seen this, kind of. Seen this. A 
I'm working on writing a song. Ooh. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That was new, the writing the song part. I won't let you down, Leon. I didn't mean any pressure by it. Oh, this is the same. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. In that case, best of luck. Your compliments put me in a good mood. I was wondering if you could like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Ah. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't start pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for you as well. Okay. Can you hold this for a second? Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up a water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Oh, let's see. Why is the sound all muffled? Oh. What? Ah. Ah. <laughs> what is this? That is not what I was expecting. That was that was that was not what I was expecting and um uh I'm sure glad we waited in this room for Yuri to come back instead of going to look for her. Oh boy. letting it show when you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. It's great. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Leora. It's very endearing. That's... Leora, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? What? What? Oh. Because of our boobs? Your posture, right? 
I have terrible reading posture. Chocolates? I can't see too well. Oh god. What the, uh, just like, what are the other two girls in this club doing? They're just like, oh damn, I guess those two lovebirds are at it again. We're just gonna do our own thing. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, oh, you might get smudges on the pages. No need to apologize. I hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. I'm feeding her chocolate now. This is a really nice CG too. I think Yuri has like the best CGs. I can't. Lyra. What? 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 What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Are we in the closet? Is this uh, five minutes in paradise or whatever? Oh God, her face. What's happening? It even makes me not want to read. This is my uh, seven minutes in heaven. Yeah, are we doing seven minutes in heaven? I just want to look at you. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, those are real eyeballs. That's scary. <laughs> the real eyeballs are kind of scary. Why would they put real eyeballs on an anime girl? <coughs> okay. They're creepy. Oh. <laughs> Monica. So what the fuck are you guys doing there? It's time to share poems! What the fuck? <laughs> Lyra, I think you saw something oh, that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous to you for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems really excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that'll probably be best for her. I see. Should we not like report this and get help for her or something? Okay, while you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Oh my god. Yeah, like, can I go talk to a teacher? Can I, can I report this to a teacher or something? <laughs> Yay, poems! Oh, this, this is different. The colors they want. Bright, beautiful colors. Flushing, expanding, piercing, red, glue, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise that won't stop. Violent, grating, worms. Wait, what is this supposed to be? School. 
Squawk, squeaking, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. What the fuck? Delete her? Save me. Delete her. Ah! <laughs> What's the point of saving if they're gonna keep deleting my files? <laughs> Stop! Stop deleting my saves! Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's ready tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when I'm... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Tell me you can hear me. I can hear you. Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Well, she told me to stay away from Yuri, so I'm gonna go show Natsuki first. I don't think it's gonna reduce the option of showing it to Yuri, but... Just as I thought. Lyra, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club, Lyra? Honestly, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together, not exclude each other even more. This is just stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today and I just really don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. I can skip it. Can I skip this? Well, I don't... What should I do, chat? Do I try to skip it? Or do I talk to Yuri? I mean, Monica told me not to talk to Yuri anymore and I don't want Yuri to be... I don't want her cutting herself. Talk to her? Okay, everyone's saying to talk to her. Okay. I just... Well, I'm wondering if I skip it, what would happen? I don't think that choice exists. But it lets me press the button. Just continue. Oh, skip just activates auto skip. Wait, no. It only allows you to skip if something you've never before added. Are you sure? There may be rails, but they're sure are they sure on guard rails? Oh god. Alright, here we go. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Do you like it? This one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job of explaining. I really wanted to give, try giving it more imagery. That makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. <laughs> I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Leora? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed, but right now I just want you to read my poem too, okay? Oh, this is like a fucking essay. Okay, here we go. What is this? What are these stains? Okay. Wheel, a rotating wheel, turning on axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cog wheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks a second times a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions uh, lost my place. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Interesting. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. On my pen? Oh. 
A pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, uh, I just really like the way that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it. Okay, that seems, that seems normal, right? <laughs> that seems normal, right? And now you're touching it. Haha. <laughs> uh, okay. What did I just? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Okay. It's this about the festival. Well, sort of. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. This is all the same dialogue. I know everyone's been a little bit more lively ever since Lyra joined and we've started with some club activities, but this isn't time for us to be compl complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival's our only real chance to find more, you know? Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. <clears throat> right, Liara? Oh. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Liora joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Liora isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like it is. I know you're present and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. That's not true at all. I'm sure you and Lyra want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. Um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Lyra, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well... In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. What's the point of all of this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest, it's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all, I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Leora, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean... At least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. This is bad. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh! Oh my god. Okay. What the fuck? Is she talking about Natsuki? Oh! My god. And the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members but rather the quality of each member. That's what... It We'll end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in the special- Oh, her eye was bleeding. With each change- Oh, it's still bleeding. Wait. Oh. Yeah, I guess it's just constantly bleeding. The identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It's just like a really weird janky bleeding though. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Hey, Yuri. I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. Monica. 
I'll do everything I can to make this club the best ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Lyra? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a bit with Lyra before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of this time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see it to you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Things have been a little bit hectic lately, haven't they? I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that. Oh, it's getting all crazy. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Well, everyone is, including you, everyone's giving me a hard time right now. Not gonna lie. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know, ahaha. Uh -huh. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Oh. <gasps> I do use a dual PC setup. Wait, I have three monitors. Well, I don't use a dual PC. I have a dual monitor setup. Is that going to affect this thing? Should I be wary of something? I have three monitors. Should I, like, make sure I'm looking at a certain monitor or something like that? No, it should be okay. Okay. It's more for dual PC. Man, I wish I had a dual PC setup, but that seems, like, really complicated, so I haven't really looked into it yet. Okay. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly got to spend any time together. I know! What's that? What's that about? Dual PC setup has issues? I see. There's just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. I'm going to reduce the game sound. I'm scared. I'm scared it's going to like pop out at me. Things I know only you could understand, so that's why. Wait, not yet. No, stop it. Oh. Okay. Oh, nope. It's, I'm doing the wrong one. Oh, why did why is there so many? Wait. This is a I this is too many. <laughs> one 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 one. How many ones is that? That's a hundred eleven thousand hundred eleven. How many more do I have to do? Oh! 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 Monica! Monica! Oh. Oh, I don't know what she wants, though. I don't know what she wants. Um. Okay, that was a good one. No, that's not, not music. Um, I thought maybe music because she was, she plays the piano or whatever. Death? No. no. I don't know what Monica likes. Her tragedy. Nope. That was not the right one. The ones are getting more. Nope. Not sunset. Grief. Nope. Fickle. Nope. Daydream. Nope. Nope. Not insight. Sticky. Faster. Nope. It has to be like something that's not too negative, I think. Time? Nope. Intellectual. Okay. Nope. Oops. I tried. You can't actually appeal to her? Oh, okay. <coughs> I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is back. Lovely image in the back. <laughs> why Why do they have to put that there? Why is Yuri being so mean? I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? N nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. And we don't need to talk about it. I just feel like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again! Well, Lyra just walked in too. Passion. I forgot. I 
I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Also... I'll buy you a new manga! That last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really feel threatened or something, but I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl will be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see this event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? Nice. Monica? Ah. Yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Lyra, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today, but what the fuck is going on? Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Lyra is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Oh my god. Aren't you glad that I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Oh my god. Wait, what the heck is happening? Yes! Oh! Thank you for my- <laughs> Oh my god. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Oh, oh, is it the same thing? Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped that. Oh! Oh. Let's see. Oh no, it's the, it's the same thing. How did I? Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't been showing or anything. Everyone has a few unusual things about them, but expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as appropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier to close myself off. But recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time I come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening, Lyra. Is it just me or has Monica been acting off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club, but recently I even feel like something's sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Oh my, her face. She's making the crazy face though. Please tell me I'm not. I can say anything before because she's always listening. But finally we're alone. Oh, her face. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I just want to stay here. Okay. Is there something here? Oh. I can't tell. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. Oh, nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. You know, if you are around people that are making you feel that way, you're absolutely in your right to not be around those people because that's not... You should not... That's not good. Oh, I see Monica. That was a joke. Just a joke. Monica's coming into view. I do like knives though. Sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've ever seen how beautiful they can be. Monica's coming. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. Oh no, that's scary. I don't know if I want to see your collection. I've got them all from various artisans. I'll make sure to give them all fair share. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. That's really scary. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. Oh, her eyes are doing the scary thing again. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, Lyra. Now that we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue. Oh my god. What does she have against Monica now? What's going on? Not to mention the other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could have ever wanted. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we're going to have the happy ending that I've patiently waited for. Will you do that with me, Lyra? Oh.
Hello, Monica. Oh. <laughs> oh. I see. We'll talk. Uh, we'll talk to Monica first, as usual. Don't say I didn't warn you. I mean, I don't have options, Monica. You know that better than anybody else. I don't have options. You think I wanted to? You think I wanted that to happen? I did not. But did I, did I have an option to not do that? I didn't. You can't blame me. If you really are breaking the fourth wall, then you should know. That's it. That's all you're gonna say to me. I'm not gonna read another one of your Yuri suck up poems, but I'm still gonna make you read mine. There's a reason. I really wish I didn't have to do this, but unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Oh. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's normally not like this. She's always been a quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try to be better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so ho helpless. So please see if you can do something to help i don't want anything bad to happen to her i'll make you cupcakes if i have to just please do something as for monica i don't know why but she's been really dismissive about this it's like she wants us to ignore it so i'm mad at her right now and that's why i'm coming to you about this don't let her know i wrote this just pretend like i gave you a really good poem okay i'm counting on you thanks for reading oh wait this is like kind of sad i'm poor Natsuki. Ah. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Lyra? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would just go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Just Monica. <laughs> just, just Monica. All right. Well, I don't. I don't have a choice. I have to show her my fucking poem. So I guess we're talking to Yuri now. Is she sniffing the poem? <laughs> fucking chat. Everyone just saying just Monica. <laughs> Lyra, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <clears throat> You're too nice to me, Lyra. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch... A what now? <laughs> I see. Um, okay. Ew! No, that's that's unsanitary. That's That's unsanitary. Don't do that. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. I'm scared to read it. Didn't you like Yandere's? Okay, I... I do like Yandere's. But I will say that... I'm not really into... So, like... Physical pain... Like, even seeing, like, the cut wounds and stuff. Like, that's a little icky for me. Like, it gets a little, like... I get, like, uh, about it. Because I, I, I do the whole thing where I feel like, you know... I can feel the cuts and stuff like that. So I don't mind Yandere's. I and I like Yandere's as I've told you guys before, but I like the physical pain 
is a, like sometimes a little bit too much. You were the one saying the pain was a way of feeling alive. It's true. I just sometimes it can be a little bit too much, you know. It can be a little bit too much. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. What? What does this say? Can you read that? What? Is this potentially legible or no? Yellow and red. Is this her pee pee? I mean, the red is definitely blood, but is this her pee pee? It is possible to read, but not as is. I see. So colorful! <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, oh my god. Oh, hello. I wrote it for you! Ah! That Monica. <clears throat> In case you couldn't read it, the poem is about... Blah, 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 blah. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. Oh, it is her pee pee. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Oh. I. I think I'm going to vomit. Why? What happened? Yes or no? What's the question? What's the question? It depends on the question. Is it just Monica? Always yes? Okay, fine. Always yes. Oh, a dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceilings and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side or to a wall, anything. Suddenly, the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid and the sounds of splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Is this um her poem? Was this... Uh, oh, it was Wanna Read a Special Poem. I see. Okay, okay, yeah. Was this supposed to be the poem? Or, or maybe I'm not supposed to know. That's fine. Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out the festival perspirations. Let's try and get this over with. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful portrait without their- Okay, yeah. Same stuff. That's a great idea. That gives us all something to do. Who's gonna help me? Wait, you? You have the easiest job. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? What, your cupcakes? Please. Like, you would fucking know. Oh my god. All you care about now is dragging Lyra around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. I didn't even do anything. Shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ, it's me too, Monica. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? I... I feel like I... I feel like... I feel like, see, the thing is, I think normally I would choose Yuri because I want to see her route, but I also 
don't really want to see more body horror stuff. But I'm... So I would normally pick Monica. But I'm also like scared of Monica. <laughs> What's that fucking beeping in the background? Give me a sec. Choose Natsuki then? Will that like derail my route though? Well, you guys said it's pretty linear, right? Like, I just don't want it to like mess up. Because sometimes when you're playing like these kind of games, it won't. Okay. Only one way to find out. Okay. Ah! 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 <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, that's so scary. This is so scary. I can't. I can't pick anything. <laughs> okay, I guess. Yeah, you picked me. Okay. We can meet at your house this weekend. All right. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair, giving us all this work and then taking Lyra for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. This is true. You decided for yourself. That's actually true. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> oh god, she's losing it. I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Oh, God. Have you considered killing yourself? <laughs> ah, please don't say that to people. It would be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Hey, Lyra. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Finally. Finally! This is really all I wanted. Lyra, there's no need to re spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. What, what is that? What is that song? Isn't there a song that says that? It feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. <clears throat> Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you that much? I like... I like this route except for the self-harm part. If... If... If she... If there was no self-harm part... I think I would like this route a lot more. The breathing? Isn't that Yuri's breathing? Maybe? No? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is gonna happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Lyra. I have to tell you. I'm madly in love with you! It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Lyra, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that even if I touch myself with a pen- Oh. Ew! I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. That's... That's a choice. I don't... The pen thing? Okay, sure. Sure. You could do that with my pen. Sure. But, uh... This is a little... A little... A little much. I want you all to myself. <laughs> Hot? Question mark? And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Leora. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I mean, if I say no, I'm gonna die, right? <laughs> if I say no, I will die, right? Okay, chat, tell me. This is not a spoiler. Tell me. Uh, do I have a choice here? Does it matter? Will it matter? I can't even save. I don't know. Not really? Okay. Not really? Then I'll just say yes. Sure. <clears throat> sure. 
I don't want to die. Oh. Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh, what? I don't know what she's saying. She's saying things, but I don't know. I'm sorry. You can skip this part? Well, I don't want to skip it. I want to hear her final words. I just don't know what she's saying. Does it go on forever if I don't skip it? You're supposed to skip it? Nah, I'm gonna watch all of it. What happens if I watch all of it? Do I get a, do I get a surprise? Do I get, do I get a, it's really long. You'll just waste your time. You should just skip it. Okay. <coughs> oh, you're, you're supposed to be here for a few hours. I see. It's like turning into day and stuff like that. It's three days worth of text. I see. Oh, the blood's getting like all more dried. You don't get like a bonus. You don't get like achievement. Bane and Lily, thank you so much for the super chat. In the first route, this is the weekend you spent with Yuri all three days. I see. Check the history. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Oh, she. Ew. She like actually threw up. I'm here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Were you there the entire weekend? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. It's too late to check. Oh, whoops. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a second. Oh, there she goes. Oh, Natsuki's gone too. Wait, so now I can't do Natsuki wrote? Oh. Oh, I got to only do not. I got to do only do one. Natsuki and um, Yuri. I could only choose one of their routes. I could. I couldn't do both. You know, before they stop existing and everything. Oh God, you can do it later. I see. <coughs> The second run is always this. I see. I see, no matter who you choose. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Is it working? Hello. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hi again. Hello. Welcome to the Literature Club. Good to be here. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and um, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Yora. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't know if you're a boy or a girl. <gasps> How does she know? I guess it doesn't really matter. <coughs> Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? She can dox your name here? Wait, should I be careful? Wait, can I get dox in this game? Is it gonna like dox me? I'm okay. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Are you using OBS? I do have OBS on. You're fine. It should be fine if OBS. Okay, if it detects your recording software, it won't dox you. Okay. This is why we asked about dual PC setup. I see. Will it, what, what, will, what, what name will it pull from? Is, does it pull from your Steam name or something? 
I'll see. It's the PC name. Don't worry about it. Is it safe? <laughs> I should change my PC name. I actually like... I've been meaning to do that, but I haven't changed my PC name. But you guys said it's okay if I'm doing OBS, right? It should be okay. It's fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you can put a sensor over the text. It already passed. It's only that one time. Oh, you already passed the PC name. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Thank you guys for telling me. Yeah. Thank you for thank you for telling me. I didn't want to accidentally uh you know. Yeah, my 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 PC name is my social security number, so you know, it would have been kind of a problem. Don't forget to rename your user folder if you do change your PC name. It's just like such a fucking pain in the ass and that's why I haven't done it yet, but um anyway. <sighs> okay. I even told you right on the game's download page. Ooh, I downloaded from Steam, so I didn't see it. What was, what did you tell me? You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. Wait, what? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? The actual game's website is cool. Check the Steam description. Wait, I'm gonna do that right now. Doki doki. The description? Screen, screen description. I only saw the part that said it's... Uh, the part that's like... Um, the game is not suitable for children. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help Literature Club become a more intimate place for all my members, but I can already tell that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? That's all it says. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be like, she's like, she's, she knows that it's a game. I see. In this cute game. I see, I see. Got it. I owe you an explanation. Oh, well, the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Well, shoot. Ha ha ha. I'm sorry you had to see that though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayuri. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. Oh! She intentionally tried to make them as unlikable as possible. That's why we didn't like Yuri and Natsuki. But Sayur Sayuri wasn't unlikable ever, right? She was always likable. Is it, is it the part that where she has depression that she made her unlikable? Like what part of Sayuri was supposed to be unlikable? For some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. <clears throat> but no matter what I did, it was a depression I see. You kept spending more and more time with them. Okay, you did not make this game very well, Monica, ma'am. Uh, I could have, I, if I had the option to spend most time with you from the beginning, I would have. I'm just saying, I'm putting it out there right now that I said from the very beginning that I was the most interested in Monica. So, that is your own fucking fault. <laughs> you made them fall in love with you. Not my fault. I thought making Sayuri more and more depressed would prevent her from convince, confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. One star review, Monica. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Leora? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. That is, that is what they're programmed to do, actually. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Leora. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Leora. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. 
why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. Wait, I need... I need... Chapstick. <laughs> It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Leora. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Leora, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in the game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Leora, will you go out with me? Oh, sure. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Leora. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Ha ha ha. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> we can make it if we try. Just the two of us. I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Leora. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. What if I like went in and deleted the Monica folder? <laughs> that would be crazy. To get into the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out of things. It didn't go my way. Ahahaha. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh! Okay. This one's the closest. Wait, what if I go to history? Oh, I guess I can't see past the other one. Monica. Monica. Monia. Monzika. Monica. She's not happy though. Can't you just be like a little bit happier for me when I like click on your name? I'm trying to find the ones that are like most similar to her name. Donika. Manka S. <laughs> Manka. Monica. 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 It's like a game finding the full name. Hi, Elira. Hi. Did you write a good poem today? Uh, don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Lyra. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by... My one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the loss finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. Happy end. Yay! I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be better to part out the game like everyone else. Like that it would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Leora? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. 
You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. <laughs> she says hi, chat. 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 This is my girlfriend. My girlfriend, go say hi. Everyone, everyone, say hi to say hi to Monica. <laughs> everyone, say hi to Monica. <laughs> <laughs> this is where she would have doxed you. I see. Hello. Yeah, Monica, look, she says hi. Everyone says hi. Oh, she can't read your comments. Oh, don't worry. I'll tell her chat. Don't worry. I got you guys. I will tell her. Oh. 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 She's. Um. She's. Um. Yeah, she has a point. <clears throat> she has she has a point. Yes, she does. But also, uh, it's kind of rude of her to like not give me a warning. You know that this was gonna be like a one-on-one -on -one thing. Like I, I was I was not expecting that. So that's actually not my fault. Uh, that I was recording. Like I already started recording. Like I couldn't you know stop. I mean, if you told me to like stop recording and then like you wanted private time, like that would have been different, but I, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Okay. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. No, you know, don't worry. It's fine. We're cool. Let's see. You wanna see a trick? Sure. <clears throat> okay. Let's see your trick. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh. Trick. Is it going to be a jump scare? I don't really I don't really I don't really want I'm not I'm not prepared for a jump scare. I'm just kidding. Oh god. Okay. I can't do anything after all. Ah! Fuck you. <laughs> I didn't mean it, Monica. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> that just scared me. <laughs> Classic, Monica. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, hey, Lyra. I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. No worries. <laughs> Even though it's your fault for distracting me. What What did I do? I didn't do anything. Shame on you. Well, I didn't do anything. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. Oh. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. But I don't want another jump scare. Is this it? Is this the ending? Oh, I do, chat. <coughs> this is it now? Just wait? Okay. You know, I really do think you literally saved my life by being here with me, Lyra. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, there's like hours of contact here. You have to get rid of her character file. I don't want to get rid of her character file. I can't imagine not having been able to keep myself mentally stable knowing that nothing here is real. I think I would have just deleted myself if you didn't show up. Sorry, I don't mean to sound dr dramatic or anything, but I'm sure you understand yourself after spending so much time in the club. I mean, if you're forced to abandon everything in your life and spend your eternity with a few game characters, you'd probably find some way of killing yourself, wouldn't you? <coughs> Well, maybe you'd write some poetry to try to keep yourself sane for a while, but then you'd have nobody to even read it. Oh god, sorry, my neighbor. Okay. Even if it takes time to find the right people to share it with. Like, remember how it was for Yuri? She didn't share her writing with anyone for a really long time. And before we knew it, she was absolutely delighted to make you a part of her hobbies too. 
We're programmed to desire social feedback. I don't mean the club members, I mean human beings. That's why life can be so confusing for introverts. Being an introvert doesn't mean you shun social interaction and hate being around people. It means social interaction, especially in groups or unfamiliar places, uses a lot of energy. Like, a lot of introverts sit at home and feel lonely and restless. And then when they finally go out after half an hour, they just want to go home again. I think if more people could understand how it works, they would respect it a lot more. Many introverts do enjoy having people around. This is true. They love having one or two close friends over and just leisurely hanging out. Even if you're not actively spending time together, it feels nice for them to just have you there. <clears throat> I'm serious. If you just go to their house, bring your laptop, and hang out there for a while, you can really make their day. As for me, I'd say I'm kind of in between, but I think I'm usually a little bit more extroverted. I feel like I'm always trying to do stuff after school and things like that. But for you, I can be anything you need me to be. I understand people really well, so don't be afraid to share your unique needs with me. <clears throat> Nothing would make me happier than being the perfect girlfriend for you. Um. So you guys are saying that I have to go delete her character file? Do I have to like do it while the game is open? How does that work? Pretty sure this whole section of the game is the creator using Monica as his mouthpiece for things he believes in. I see. Um, there's like 30 of these? Okay, delete her file. Okay, I'll go delete her file. You have to, in order to end it all. I see. Uh, if I can find the Bros, okay, wait, I have a tech question. I have a twek, twek? I have a tech question for all the tech bros in my chat. So I bought a, um, I bought a, um, I bought a hard drive. I bought an SSD, right? I bought like, it was like a, what, what company is it? It's like a WD one. It's actually a really good one. It has like a, it has like a heat sink thing and everything. And every time I restart my computer, it doesn't detect. And then I have to physically open up my PC and re-plug it in in order for it to be detected. Every single time. Why does that happen? Right click it on your Steam library of properties and browse local files. Oh, okay. Sounds like a loose bad cable. It's the kind that just plugs in. Browse local files. It could be motherboard or the defective SSD. Ugh. Is it not locked in properly? So the shitty thing is that I actually don't have the right screws for it. Um, yeah. So it, it isn't really locked in necessarily properly, but I tried to buy uh, another screw, but it doesn't fit either. You had a similar issue when you had a bad SATA drive? Might be it. There should be a screw in a standoff. Yeah, right now this, there is a screw in a standoff, but the screw is a little bit too high. Is it an M2? It is an M2. It's probably loose because of that. Is it the one that plugs into motherboard? It is. It is the one. Try getting the right screws first. Ugh, fuck, I actually did try, but the screws I got are still too small. I think I have to try a different slot. I don't have another slot, unfortunately. Could be the drive or the connection. Hopefully it's the connection. Ugh, okay, I will. I will have to... We'll have to see. Okay, well, let's read this first. I can't help but wonder how things would have been different if the game just gave me a root in the first place. It's true. I think I would have ended up forcing you onto my root anyway. It has less to do with me not having a root and more to do with me knowing that nothing is real. I think the only difference would be that I may or may not have needed to take such drastic measures to be with you. Maybe the rest of the club would still be around. Not that it really matters. It's all lost. It's meaning once I found out it wasn't real. So I really don't miss those days or anything. I really don't. Okay, we're gonna delete. Delete. It's it's been done. Now what? Oh, there she goes. Goodbye. What's happening, Lyra? What's happening to me? It hurts. Goodbye. It hurts so much. Help me, Lyra. Oh. Please hurry and help me. Oh. Help me. Ah. Did you do this to me, Lyra? No, it wasn't me. Did you? Nope, wasn't me. It was chat. 
Did you delete me? No, 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 no. I think, I think there's a big misunderstanding. It wasn't me. It was actually Chad. Yeah, it was. It was. It was actually like, yeah, it wasn't me though. Just, um, yeah. I was forced. I was like, I was like blackmailed. You know, I was like blackmailed into doing this. Just letting you know, it wasn't me though. <laughs> <laughs> I loved you so much, Leora. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Now what? Oh, I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I didn't kill everyone. I only necessarily, you know... I only necessarily deleted one thing and then... You killed everybody else, technically. Go find some other people to torture. Okay. Lyra, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Goodbye. She is, yeah, I know, she's the gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Okay, now what? Is it over? Oh, no, it's not. There it is. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I made up my mind. Leora, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm gonna do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy, and if I really love you, then... Oh no, she's not here! Oh, all the characters are back? Oh, all their files are back too. How did they do that? Okay, um... We only have 10 minutes until Coconut Street. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do like a really quick new game run. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I was telling myself about being okay. Oh, a Sayuri, okay, nice. Uh huh. But you never said anything about it, even though we walk to school every day. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayuri. Cross the street and make our way to school. By the way, Leora, have you decided a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not. Oh, she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah, I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. Yeah, the character development. Hello? Leora? What are you doing here? Well, I just... You're the Leora that Sayori is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Leora. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. We'll 
Well, nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Lyra, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayuri. The literature club. Nice. No way. No way. Well, if Sayuri is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can be officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Heh, <laughs> sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! These are all the same. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <coughs> All the same stuff from before. I've seen this one like three times. <laughs> there are only minor differences? I see. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime. Okay, it's all like normal stuff. What happens if you like saved the Monica character file and you put it back into the folder? Oh, it's still in your bin? Only one way to find out? Oh, she says she doesn't want to come back? I see. Here we go. Maybe we could all try something new. I think it'd be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. Oh, it says something like, don't play with my heart. I want to be gone and she deletes herself again. I see. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri, I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little bit more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're really into it, then I'm sure it'd be a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean... It makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just you? Would you like to come along? Oh, they're like getting along now! Nice! They're so cute together. Sorry, shut up. <laughs> okay, it looks like it's gonna generally... Uh, yeah, it's like generally the same and stuff. It's not gonna be like anything crazy and this is like kind of the ending. <clears throat> um, Keep going? Oh, no keep going? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna try to tune in to, to Coconut. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. Okay, keep going. Keep pulling off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. We're like 98% done? Okay. Hey, Leora. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Hehe. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica! I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. 
Well, I really know everything, Leora. Oh no. Hehe. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Oh my god. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F. O. R. E. E. V. E. R. Oh, no? Okay. Eh. What's happening? I'm like looking at the character folder. I'm like waiting for Monica to show up. What's happening? It's, 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 I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. What's happening? Ah, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There is no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Leora. Goodbye, Literature Club. Oh. I have the folder open. I'm like looking at the folder. <laughs> Can you hear me? I can. I can hear you. Hey. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hi. It's Hi. me. Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet. Like, at all. But, I wrote you a song. And I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you. Because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. <laughs> she sounds like somebody that I know. It's really weird. She sounds exactly like somebody I know. Oh. Oh, it's the ending song. Nice. I've heard this song a couple times. That it was kind of hot, like everyone was uh, it was like a hot song at the time. A lot of people covered it and stuff. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? Yeah, like the portal song or the cake song. That special day. Yay! Have I found everybody upon the side? I can't believe we finished the game in one day. When you're here, everything that we do is fun. Oh, we haven't seen any of these cutscenes. These are all the Natsuki cutscenes, I guess. You can go back and play the other routes with extra stuff? I see. Gotcha. <coughs> oh, I didn't get any of the Natsuki ones. There's a secret ending. Do I, do I have to do something to get it or can I just get it? Oh, it takes forever? Okay, probably not then. Is it love? If I take your is it love? Oh, you have to do all the, have to get all the photos. I see. Oh. I see, I see. I'll probably have to um just look if it up I on YouTube or something. Special thanks, Monica and Leora. Aw, you're welcome. And in your reality, if I don't know how to love you, I'll leave you be. Cool. This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica.
there it goes. Goodbye. The end. Um, cool. Well, that was, that was intense. Wait, let me, I don't have my talking, I don't have my talking thing set up. So we're gonna, we're kind of using the old talking thing. Why the fuck is my chat all fucked up? I don't know. I don't know why my chat is messed up. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah. So we're going to chat a little bit. I know Coconut's stream is probably starting up soon. But we'll talk a little bit about, about the stream and stuff. Oh, episode 13. Yeah, I should change that. Because I'm sure you guys are like curious on my thoughts and stuff. Um, I thought that was a really cool concept in terms of like the game concept. That was really cool. I honestly like, I'm a little, I'm like a little sad. She started already? Yeah, I know. Um, I, I'm going to just read into her when we're done talking. But like, I'm like kind of... I actually thought I would like Monica a lot more than I ended up liking her. Like, I felt like she was a little underwhelming, actually. I thought the game was really cool and the concepts were really cool. Um, but, I mean, I'm not talking about, like, it being a happy game or a sad game. But I think I just, like, I think you really, like, you really don't get to spend a lot of time with Monica at all in the entire game. So I actually like didn't feel that much for her. And then at the end where it's like Monica's like in love with you, I felt like it felt a little a little short for me. Like I wanted I wanted more like time to also like Monica, but I just didn't have a lot of time to like her even. That's what Monica complained about too. Yeah. I don't know. Um I think like, actually, I really ended up liking Sayori's root because of like kind of the relatability to the root I really liked. And uh, obviously like for me, like I cried in that root you guys saw, it like hit really close to home for me. Um, so I did really like her root. That being said, in terms of like, Who's, who I like the most. I mean, obviously we didn't get on Natsuki's route, so I'm not going to talk about her route because I think it's a little unfair to do so. But if we're talking about like... Like waifu, I feel like Yuri was the most waifu. I liked all of her Yandere aspects. I just wish she didn't cut herself. Like, I think if it wasn't her cutting herself, if it was literally... She was like freaking masturbating that entire time. Like, you know how they kept implying that? If it was that, I actually was like, would have preferred that. <laughs> I know that sounds weird and messed up, but I would have preferred, like, I would have been like, okay, that's kind of hot, you know, whatever. But, um, like, she's just yandere, whatever. But, like, I just, like, the part where she's like cutting herself, I was like, ah, I can't do the like cutting thing. Like, that's just. It is her thing, but it's just, like, not my thing. You know what I mean? But the Yandere part, it definitely activated many, fired many neurons for me. I really, really did uh, like the Yandere aspects of it. And I really uh, liked her, like, obsession with me. Like, when she kicks out Monica and Natsuki from the room, I was like, oh my god. Like... I mean, she's fucking psycho, but like, you know, sometimes that's how, that's how I like it. <laughs> oh, I liked Yuri a lot. I, I think probably that was like, she was my favorite root, like favorite character um, to waifu. Sayori for sure is like the most like relatable. And then, um, <clears throat> I'm sad. I would have, I really felt like I would have liked Monica a lot more. Um, if they had done it in like a different way. But, yeah, like, I don't know. I know that's, like, part of the point, but it just, it, what, it, like, I, I personally just need to be a little bit more invested with the character first before I can, like, feel things for them, you know? Which sucks because, like, aesthetically, too, she was, like, my favorite, too. 
gave her moniker her own Twitter. I know, but like, I don't like uh, that's like that's that's like, you know, I just want to enjoy her in the game. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like even like the part at the end where it's like you can spend time with her. But yeah, it's not like the same. The deep dive of the game's lore is insane though. I heard like the, the plus one is a little bit more lore oriented. I don't know. I don't know if I will play the plus one. DDLC plus. We'll see. Um, maybe future DLC stream. Yeah, maybe. They added bonus routes and extra things. Yeah, I don't know. I might just like read it online and stuff and, and see what all the hubbub is about and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, overall, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a really cool game and I really liked the format. I thought it was really cool. I like that it was cool that like things like got deleted and stuff like that's crazy. Um, I think it's cool that they like knew that I was streaming and stuff like that was all like pretty cool and um, it's insane that this is a free game like that's crazy to me uh, I, I that 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 was worth my time more than some games that I paid a lot of money for so I think um, yeah it was really neat the wiki has everything yeah I'll probably like have to have to check that out sometime a really long stream though thank you guys for sticking around um what game is free doki doki literature club the game is free it's free on steam uh but it was a six hour stream holy crap <laughs> i can't believe we actually got through the entire game um in that in that time period it's pretty crazy uh but i really appreciate everyone for for sticking around the entire time. I hope you guys had fun. That was uh, that was a fun ride though. Mm. That was a fun ride and I'm sorry that I couldn't voice act the whole thing. I think I got pretty far though. I think I did a lot of voice acting. Um, towards the end, my my throat is like not, not having. <laughs> I did voice act most of it though. Yeah, so I tried my best. I hope you guys liked it uh, anyway. And um, we're going to go raid into Kokone today. And tomorrow is Thursday. I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'm going hiking with PokePal. And then on Friday, we were supposed to have... Wait, what? Friday? Wait, what's... Give me a second. Oh, Friday, we're going to be doing Yu-Gi-Oh. We're doing Master Duel on Friday. And then uh, please be mindful that... Normally on Saturday, we were supposed to have our TTRPG campaign. I know a lot of you guys were looking forward to that, but we're going to be doing that on Sunday instead. So um, the TTRPG is going to happen Sunday, 6 p.m. PST, not Saturday. So um, again, I know a lot of you guys were looking forward to that. So be sure to just be aware of that change. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys to, uh, day after tomorrow, Friday for Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll see you guys Friday for Yu-Gi-Oh! And we're gonna go right into Kokone to, um, uh, to, uh, watch her, watch her sing. What tabletop system are you playing? We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be on Roll20 and we're playing Call of Cthulhu. Mm. We're playing Call of Cthulhu, but it's a custom campaign made by Kokone. So that's going to be really exciting. We actually already did our character creation stream on Kokone's channel. So if you guys are curious about the character creation aspect of it, you can go check out Kokone's channel and the stream that we had previously. Thank you again for all the support. I had a really good time. That was scary, but it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. So um, that, was <laughs> that was still really nice. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Leotsu, thank you guys so much again. And bye-bye.